So critical thinking is required to critique existing systems of government, any system of government. And in this case, we're focusing on democracy. And it is required, again, to build and maintain any successful government through all of its systems. And we can start with human systems, human created systems, such as educational systems, social systems, cultural, familial, political, professional, business, government, all of the systems within a society must support a rich conception of democracy for it to, to flourish, for it to stand, for it to be successful and for it to serve the people, which we know is an essential part of its core, even if we know nothing else about its core, that it must serve the people. So we, when we think of it this way, we realize that we can't blame one part of society for failures in democratic systems. We've got to look in all parts of human societies for the barriers to successful democracies. So we can't just put it the way on the schools to solve the problem, the weight on the parents to solve the problem. Now we've all got to solve the problem working through these systems.